Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to write a program to delete an element from an array from a given position. So let us begin with the preprocessor directives hash include input output stream dot h hash include console input output dot h then we'll write wide main curly open brace and here we are going to declare all the necessary variables which are to be used in the program with respect to data type int a of 10 so that is array of size 10 then i n element and position p now uh, if we want we can write clr ssr otherwise uh, it is optional so which is used for clearing the screen so that clears off the previously shown output okay let us begin with the c out in a double quotation mark we'll ask the user to enter the size of an array so scene n so n will hold the number of elements next c out will ask the user to enter the elements so backward slash n brings the cursor down to the next line so that we can insert element one by one now for loop i is equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus c in stream extraction operator e of i and semicolon now we will ask the user to enter the position from which the element is to be deleted so now we'll write c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark we'll write enter the position so that to from 0 to in a double quotation mark so from here to here it will be printed as it is and i'll use stream insertion operator n minus 1 so it is going to return value stream insertion operator double quotation mark and round closing brace double quotation mark so this particular closing brace will be printed and put semicolon now we will use scene stream extraction operator position p and we will check out the condition if p is greater than n minus 1 then it has to print the error message that is invalid position if this is not then else part will get executed else curly open brace and here we are going to write element is assigned with a of position so this particular statement gives us the warning while executing the program you just need to ignore that warning and execute the program by pressing Control f9 here i'm going to write looping statement for i is equal to position so we'll start from the given position till down okay so i is less than n i plus plus next a of i is assigned with value a of i plus one so here the higher order elements will be shifted to lower order elements so we are going to discuss that one later on so n is equal to n minus one and put semicolon and next here we are going to write c out statement elements after deletion r so backward slash n and put semicolon here using iterative statement for i is equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus here i'm going to write c out stream insertion operator e of i semicolon then curly closing brace for this else part then i'm going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for main function now let us watch out how exactly it works i'll write here output so when we compile and run this program will ask the user to enter the size of an array here i'm going to enter 5 after this it is going to ask the user to enter the elements now 
just because of this backward slash in cursor will come down and just because of this for loop we are going to insert elements one by one now for example i'll enter one two three four and five so after inserting five elements so it will ask the user to enter the position from zero to four so here it will be printed as enter the position from zero to four will be printed and this closing brace will be printed as it is next here i'm going to uh, delete the element three whose position is two so i'll type here two so p is holding value two next we are going to check out this condition if p is what p is two greater than n minus one is four whether it is true or false no it is false so hence the control directly jumps to else part and here element ele is assigned with a of position so a of position is what two so a of two is what you can observe here so it will be mapped in a, a memory something like this so we have inserted five elements whose index number is 0 1 2 3 4 so here 1 2 3 4 5 elements we have inserted so a of 2 so this is array a of 2 consisting of what 3 so 3 is equated to element next for i is equal to p in a iterative statement i is equal to p means what p is position position is 2 so here we have started from this particular position so a of i a of i means what i is position number 2 is equated with a of i means 2 plus 1 so a of 2 must be equated with a of 3 so a of 2 is equal to a of 3 consisting of what 4 so here 4 so you can observe here it will be mapped in memory something like this 1 2 3 and 4 so index number 0 1 2 and 3 so here a of 2 is holding value 4 now so elements 1 and 2 are intact and 4 is shifted from higher order to lower order so this iteration completes next again for loop will increment the value of i by 1 so a of i now a of i is what a of i is 3 is equal to a of 3 plus 1 next a of 3 is equal to a of 3 is what 4 a of 3 is equal to a of 4 consisting of what 5 so 5 is equated to a of 3 so here the higher order element is shifted to lower order you can observe here 3 is already eliminated so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is what 4 so 4 is less than 4 no condition is false once the condition is false control comes out of this looping construct and it is going to execute the next statement and here you can observe that this is the simple statement which will get executed repeatedly till this condition is satisfied so here n is equal to n minus 1 why n is equal to n minus 1 n was 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 why because earlier we had 5 elements now after deleting one element we have got only 4 elements so that's the reason we have to write n is equal to n minus 1 after this it is going to print elements after deletion are elements after deletion are will be printed as it is and just because of this backward slash n cursor will come down and just because of this iteration so it is going to iterate from 0 to n that is 3 so 0 to 3 consisting of 1 2 4 5 so it is going to print 1 2 4 and 5 now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see that i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler 
let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 so here it is going to show the warnings that element is assigned value that is never used you just ignore this warning and go for executing this program by pressing control f9 here it is asking the user to enter the size of an array here i'm going to press 5 and press enter now it is asking the user to enter the elements i'm going to enter 1 2 3 4 5 and then press enter now it is asking the user to enter the position from 0 to 4 for example i want to delete an element 3 which is situated in a position number 2 so i'm going to enter 2 and press enter now you can observe elements after deletion are 1 2 3 is deleted 4 5 remain as it is i hope you understood if yes then please write down as yes in comment line thank you